Hello, welcome to this channel, Claudemir here again. Let's talk today about CCTV lenses. This is very important. If you wanna become a better professional, you got to understand that. This is the content of the Ultimate Security Camera Guide. You can find the link here in the description. So click it and get yours, all right? So let's start here talking about light that hits the lens so the lens can convert to a focal point. That's the way it works, right? If you have a lens for CCTV, that's the basic principle. The light comes here, hit the lens, goes to a focal point before hit the sensor, right? Uh, the lens is converted to a focal point. And then you have the focal length, that's the distance here between the lens is th in this focal point where the light is converted to, right? So here's, there's an example of a CCD sensor or there's also CMOS sensor, depending on the camera you're using, you gotta get CCD or CMOS, right? Uh, for IP cameras or analog cameras. I'm talking here basically about sensors and light and uh, lenses. So it doesn't matter if I'm talking about IP or analog camera, the principle is basically the same, right? The light's going to pass here through the lens and gotta hit the sensor here. So you're going to convert from analog to digital signals or from analog to electric signals, depending of the sensor you're using here. So let's take a look here uh, in the type of lenses you can find, starting with fixed lenses. For example, if you buy, if you buy a mini dome, you can find this type of lenses here. In this case, you can have a lens with 2.8 millimeters, 3 millimeters, 3.6, 4 or 6. Uh, there's also different uh, millimeters here you can find on different cameras, but most of them use 2.8 to 6 millimeters. And when you buy this lens, you cannot change. If you buy with 2.8, it's 2.8. If you buy with 3, it's 3, all right? You cannot change it. So that's why it's called fixed lenses, right? You have the view angle, you cannot change it. And that's different with very focal lenses. With very focal, you can change. There's a screw here. You can change the angle of view just by moving these screws. For example, here you buy a lens that has 2.8 to 12 millimeters. So you can change the focal length here. And there's of course some different values here for different lenses or different cameras, but most of them work on this range here. I have an example of fixed lens, a uh, very focal lens, sorry, for box cameras, right? If you wanna learn more about different types of cameras, you gotta watch another video that I have here in the channel, right? So here basically I'm talking about lens for box camera. If you buy box camera, you use this one and you can choose your manufacturer. Let's say, for example, you buy a lens for a computer you're gonna get one like this one. As you can see here, there's the focal length. In this case is 4.5 to 13.2 millimeters. That's the distance you can find here in the lens. And this lens is for a half inch sensor. As you can see here, there's the screw, the screw for uh, focus and for zoom. So you can change the position here and change focus and zoom. This Lens is also prepared for infrared. So pay attention here, the camera, the, the lens, sorry, doesn't have infrared light or infrared LEDs. It's not that what it means here, right? There is nothing here to illuminate the environment. What this means, infrared here means is that the lens is prepared to get infrared light. So infrared light is coming through this lens. This lens can handle that, right? So be careful with this information. And here's the F number, in this case is 1.8. And if you wanna learn more about F number and this kind of stuff, just watch the other video that I have here or visit my blog, okay? I have the link here in the description. And also here I have information for mount types. In this case is CS. There's also mount, mount type C that I talk about that in other videos also, right? So. Just don't forget to subscribe to the channel and watch the other videos here, right? So move on. Let's see here some examples of uh, this case. 
is fixed length, right? You can see he, you can see here 4.5 millimeters. Then there's the distance between the lens and the sensor. The lens is installed on a camera close to a window, as you can see here. There is a parking lot outside and you see far, far away, right? And also you can see some details here. It looks like uh, this thing here is bended. And also that happened with the wall. That's just an effect of physics because the lens is too close to the wall and it's using a 4.5 millimeter lens. So you have got an impression that everything is bended here, but it's not, of course, right? And when you zoom in a little bit, you see more details here. You can see the cars closer. You don't see the wall anymore here because you're zooming in. And in this case, I'm zooming in with nine millimeters, right? So I'm changing the position of the lens, zooming in and zooming in even more here with 13 millimeters. I can see closer and you keep doing that. You can be zooming in and in depending of how much your lens allows you to do that, right? And here uh, there's another detail about a different kind of lens. In this case, a very focal lens for box cameras. You can see here, there is a box camera. The lens is connected to the camera. And in this case, you can change from five to 40 millimeters. So you can zoom in from five to 40. Here's the, the information about that. In this case, the lens is 1.6 uh, with the F number. The F number is 1.6. And the focal lens ranges from five to 40 millimeters, right? So you got your information here. You just need to check the lens or the catalog or the menu. Either way, you can see if the lens is enough for your project. And then also before by the lens, you can simulate this on a software. Here's an example where I have the camera and the object. The object is 20 meters away from the camera and I can put this information on the software and talk to, uh, say to the software, hey, I have here this distance, I'm using this focal length, and then the software can simulate that for me. And here is the vision that I'm gonna get with this type of lens, using this distance, this focal length, and everything else, right? So let's move on here to see more details where you can find the information in, in the camera or the catalog here you see an example of a lens that comes that varies from 3.3 to 12 millimeters and you find this on the camera specification if you don't find here in the lens you can take a look at the catalog or in the menu here is an example for dome camera and here for bullet camera as you can see here you also have have some screws here so you can change the position and change the vocal length the focal length and here is 2.8 to 12 millimeters fair focal length. You also find this on the camera specification. Pretty easy. Moving on to the next one here, I can see that it's a bullet camera. Again, you have more information about types of camera here in the channel, just what the other videos, but basically this bullet camera has a very focal length. You can vary here the screw and change from 2.8 to 12 millimeters. And here's a simulation again. Here's the camera is 10 meters away from the object. When you change the position here on the screw to 2.8, you see the image like this. As you can see here, there's no much details. That you, you cannot see, uh, for example, that this plate is from California. So you gotta uh, improve this by zooming in and then you can get an image like this. You zoom it in from 2.8 to 12 millimeters, or you can also change the camera resolution. In this case, I'm using a two megapixel camera. If you increase for to four or five or eight megapixel, you're gonna get a better image here, but that costs a little bit more, of course. You, if you buy a high resolution camera, you're gonna pay more. Uh, so it, either way, you can change the resolution in megapixel, increase the resolution so you can get a better image here, or you can zoom in with optical lens, right, with uh, optical zoom, right, using very focal lens, 
but of course you're gonna lose you're gonna miss some spots in your image right? because you're zooming in you're gonna miss some spots right but either way it works you can have more details like this as you can see here 12 millimeters 10 meters away the same camera with 2 megapixel resolution but here i'm using 12 millimeters with the focal length and here another detail about other camera in this case is a dom camera as you can see here i can vary the focal length from 3.3 millimeters to 12 the same way i can simulate in the software here 10 meters away 2 megapixel camera i can see the way and i can see the way with 12 millimeters for this camera a dom camera and when i'm using a fixed lens there is no way to do to change the focal length there is no way to do that so either way you buy 2.8 3.6 4 or 6 there's no way to change it and here's a simulation for that with 2.8 that's what you see you see the car is far away is small here in the image the same for the person that's here close to the camera and i can simulate for six millimeter you see the person is closer i can see more details i also can see the license plate here because it's also closer so remember when i'm changing my lens from 2.8 to 6 i'm changing my angle of view and in fact i'm not changing lenses i'm buying another camera with different lens right there you can buy a camera with 2.8 or six millimeters so you can see this difference here some of professional camera allows you to change the lens uh, you can buy one or another and change it but most of them doesn't most of them you just either buy 2.8 or 6 or 3 or 3.6 depending which one you want right but most of them doesn't allow you to change it here another detail as you can see here i have a fixed lens here in the center some infrared light that's why the lens must be prepared to receive infrared light right when the uh, infrared illuminate the environment so the light comes back hits the sensor here passing through the lens so this lens must be prepared for infrared and you can see the information in the catalog or in the menu here's the specification for this one third uh, CCD sensor, one third inch CCD sensor. And here you see that is a fixed lenses with 2.8 millimeters. And here it can see 82 degrees in the horizontal, 68 in the vertical, right? So you also get the information in the specification. Another type of lens, motorized lens. In this case, you have a motor here inside that can move the lens so you can zoom in and out using a motor and you got to buy this controller here so you can send some voltage to the motor here and base it on the voltage that uh, the motor is going to receive it's going to change from 8 to 80 millimeters here so you can zoom in and out and here a different kind of lens is a panamorph lens as you can see here it looks like a fisheye and you can see 360 degrees so you don't miss anything here you don't have blind spots you can see everything in the 360 degrees it's called fisheye so that's the way it works you have all the information you need here in the single image and talking about information it's very important that you understand even more about camera so don't forget to subscribe to this channel leave your thumbs up your comments and also hit the bell notification to receive more information about videos like that and if you get to learn more if you want to learn more just click here in the link to download your guide and guys that's all for today thank you very much and i see you in the next video <laughs>